Hello and welcome to the Montgomery County League of Women Voters Registering to Vote videos. The League collaborated with the National Council of Jewish Women and Montgomery Municipal Cable to make this series happen. These videos are designed to help Montgomery County, Maryland citizens understand how to participate in their community and country as informed voters. And that starts with knowing how to register to vote. Please note that nothing contained in these materials is legal advice, nor does it replace any Maryland Board of Elections information. The Montgomery County League of Women Voters is highlighting some key information to know before registering to vote. But the Board of Elections is always the ultimate expert. Also, legislation affecting voting processes can be considered every year and placed into effect whenever the Maryland General Assembly votes to do so. Therefore, it is up to each citizen to ensure they have the most up-to-date and accurate information that may affect their ability to vote. There are three registering to vote videos. One, who is eligible to register? Two, how do I register? And three, when and where may I register? Now we start the first video, who is eligible to register? To vote, you must register. We have big elections at least every two years, and smaller elections can happen every year depending on exactly where you live. Plus, fewer citizens vote in the non-presidential elections like this year, 2022. So your vote does matter, and it matters even more in years like 2022. All U.S. citizens may vote, but must show they meet Maryland qualifications to vote in Maryland. The basics include being a Maryland resident, which means your permanent home address must be in the state. Maryland's main qualifications are that you be at least 16 years of age, you may register at age 16, but you cannot vote until you are 18, that you would not be under guardianship for a mental disability, that you have completed serving time for any felony conviction, and that you have not ever been convicted of buying or selling votes, which is a permanent disqualification. Maryland restores voting rights automatically upon release from prison. However, these citizens must show proof that they have completed serving their sentence when registering to vote. New citizens often have an opportunity to register to vote at their swearing-in ceremonies, where the League of Women Voters as volunteers are available there. If the opportunity is not presented or taken advantage of at that time, then any new citizen can contact the Board of Elections or use the information in this video series first. This is the end of part one. Our next short video covers how to register. But if you have more questions on registration eligibility, you'll see a list of resources next, and the live links for them will be in the description below. The list of resources will include the League's unique online voters guide for all candidates and any issues for which we can vote for or against. The printed version is available about one month before the general election in English and Spanish, and the online version is available a week or two before that. This image gives an idea of what will be included, and you can pause the video to enlarge it for more detail. As you can see, there are many more resources with live links in the description below.